Welcome to this amazing YouTube show. My name is Dennis Mulongakao from Mubanga Media. In this video today, I am walking you through low light photography. So we're going to use two lights. And of course, I have an amazing model, a saxophone player. Somebody says Muya Sax. Well, he sucks. Well, he's a very, 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 very good uh, saxophonist. Is it saxophone? That's what you say? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Awesome saxophonist. And I'll be taking amazing photographs of him. So it's pretty much low key photography. And I'm excited about this. Oh, and today is special because I am joined by legends. Legends. I'll make sure I show them. I'm joined by Kozo, Jolwe, Jolwe. <laughs> yeah, and I'm joined by Darius Dakot. He's the one on the one two one twos. He's the one making me look so amazing, pretty. Anyways, today isn't about me. And of course, we have Dod David. Let's do this. Let's do this. I'm excited. Yeah, let me walk you through this. Awesome. So I'm joined by Muya, the amazing saxophonist. You can follow him on TikTok. Actually, like he's big on TikTok. <laughs> yeah. Saxophone, he means saxo, not with an E, with an A. <laughs> yeah. Awesome stuff. So, yeah, uh, so I'm using y, uh, one, one light, so I'm using the YN200, the Yongyu YN200 in a stripped softbox with a grid on it. And the reasons why I'm using a grid on it, it's because I want the lighting to be one directional, like it shouldn't spill out to other avenues. My shutter speed is at uh, 2 50th of a second. And yeah, and then my ISO is at uh, 160 and my aperture is at 10. But what we'll do is that we'll build the shot and be able to get the perfect shots. I am shooting at half power. Not at full power, but half. Yeah, I think I'm um, good to start. Action! <laughs> <laughs> also, okay, so the first shot which I got was pretty much dark. The reason being because of our settings. Changed our settings, now our shutter speed is at 200th of a second, our aperture at 6.3 and our ISO at 200. The reason why I've increased our ISO is so that we give life to the background as well. Yeah, so we I need you to stand to so move forward. Yeah. So you'll be standing just here, so slightly at an angle. So one other thing is that every time you're shooting, you are the director. Make sure you make your subject or your model yeah. or the sexy man. I don't know why he decided to name himself that. But you have to be in control and tell them what you do. Remember, you know the general outcome for your picture. So even as you're doing this, make sure that your subject is comfortable and they're enjoying the shoot. Smile, please. Laugh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so let's see how this comes out. Uh, oh, and one of the things that he's super close to the light. So the light is positioned at 45 degrees towards him. So, yeah. Awesome stuff. Wow. You want to see? Great. I you want to see yourself? Yeah. Whoa! <laughs> ah, I like that one. <laughs> yeah, I'm happy with what I'm getting. But of course, we can add more drama to this. Just like this, they look amazing. However, I'm going to add in another light, which will act as our fuel light or our hair light to be able to pretty much separate him from the background. It's in a small, tiny diffuser. So I'm still using the YN200, which I'm controlling using the trigger here. So I'll switch it on. So this is line B. So I will increase the power. So I'll take it to one eighth is what? Yeah, one eighth. A quarter is one four. Yeah. Don't run away from mathematics at school. Yeah. Let's see how this comes out. Let's see how the 
backlight or the hair light would do. Awesome. Amazing stuff what the hair light is doing, the backlight. It's adding more drama to the image, but we can add something extra. Some smoke. And then we'll have him change his clothes and just wear a jacket. It's be like all serious. No, he's serious with his life. We want him to look more serious and more presentable to the whole world. So, yeah. Great, so our saxi man, it's even weird to say that, <laughs> our saxi man is ready. <laughs> so we're adding more drama. So what I'm going to do on our hair light, on our backlight, I'm going to add a gel to it. So I'll be using a blue, teal, a blue, <laughs> this is blue. This is blue, so I'll be adding it to our backlight to just add more drama and just light to the background. And then adding the smoke. So slightly tilt your body. So let's see how this comes out. Let's see. Okay, so the the backlight looks amazing. The blue is so so amazing. These photographs and your playing should should be in tandem. Like it should be true, true. <laughs> okay, so now I'm going to add the small can. Let's see how it comes out. Let's go. Pose. Also. So these are the images we have. This is how you're looking. Made you look alive. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> you made you no, look alive. No, no, no. <laughs> Your sexiness will show. <laughs> Guys, you can't wait to see this. Wow. So, yeah. And then of course we Whoa. added more drama to it and yeah, look at you looking Guys, all I'm serious. <laughs> But this is my I favorite. Like <laughs> yeah, awesome. So, <laughs> so great. Hopefully you enjoyed. So right now we're just going to edit and uh, yeah, get to see the lovely work. So hopefully you enjoyed this awesome tutorial. This is awesome smoke around like <laughs> you can actually sanitize yourself as you walk through. But <laughs> yeah, so hopefully you enjoyed this tutorial on my two light setups. So I used this light, the YN200 as my main light, and then I had another YN200 as my fuel light or backlight or hair light, whatever you want to call it. So yeah, hopefully you enjoyed. Make sure you subscribe, like, comment, share, and let's spread word. Thank you.